Hi, my name is Abdul Rahman from Apple Systems and I'll be going over the moving average ladder logic instruction in this video tutorial. First, let's go over to an empty subroutine and hover over the functions tab. Now place the moving average ladder instruction on the first rung. Now that we know where the instruction is located and what it looks like, let's go over to screen number two and place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right hand side of the screen. Notice the first rung on the subroutine, it's the timer on ladder logic instruction. This instruction will incrementally count a number in milliseconds until it equals the value in register D200. Once they are equal, the output line in the instruction will energize and the coil B200 will turn on for one scan. This operation is then repeated and the coil B200 turns off. When the coil B200 turns on, the moving average ladder instruction will be executed. The timer on instruction in our logic basically limits how often the moving average instruction is executed. Now notice the 1, 5, and 10 buttons on the screen. These buttons act like radio buttons. Only one button is allowed to be turned on at any particular time. So when I press the 10 button, the 1 and 5 buttons should turn off. And that's exactly how it works. First of all, these buttons are found under the Advanced Objects tab and are called the Multitask Single State Buttons. Each button is assigned a particular coil as a feedback tag address. The one button has the coil amount underscore MA underscore one name associated with it. The five and the ten buttons have the same format of names. When one is pressed, the multitask single state button will execute three tasks. Turn amount MA one on turn amount MA5 off and finally turn amount MA10 off. The same is true for the 5 and 10 buttons. The task will turn on the coil of a pressed button and turn off the other two button coils. So without any complicated logic overall we have radio buttons. And now let's go to the appropriate subroutine and examine the rest of the instructions. Now according to our subroutine, the ladder logic instructions on rung number 2, 3, and 4 are controlled by the coil B250 or amount MA1, coil B251 or amount MA5, and coil B252 or amount MA10. If amount MA1 coil is turned on, the move word ladder instruction is executed and a constant 1 is moved to the register D210 or transferred MA amount. If amount MA5 is pressed, a constant 5 moves. If amount MA10 is pressed, a constant 10 moves. Now let's go back to our screen and see how all of this pieces together. The increment and decrement buttons are also multitask single state buttons, except their tasks are a bit different. Now let's open up the increment button task. As you can see, the tag operation is simply add tag A and tag B and store the value in tag A. In tag A we have the moving value which is registered D211. Tag B is a transfer MA amount which is dictated by the radio buttons. So if the 10 button is pressed at that particular time, a constant 10 is stored in register D210. And when we increment the moving value, it will increment by a factor of 10. The same is true for the 5 and 1 buttons. The decrement button does exactly the same thing, except that it subtracts tag A minus tag B and stores the value in tag A. Finally, let's pull up the ladder instruction on the right hand side of the screen again and analyze the moving average ladder instruction. The ladder instruction takes two input operands and one output operand. Operand A is a register D211. Operand B is a register table starting from register D230 where n equals 10. And operand C is the output register D212. When the moving average ladder instruction is executed, the value in operand A is moved to a particular register in the register table. When the instruction is executed again, the value in operand A, whatever it is because it can be changed, is moved to the next register.
in the register table and it will continue to add operand A's value in the register table as long as the instruction is executed. The value in operand C is calculated by taking the average of the values in the register table. Now let's go to an HMC and observe this instruction. On the HMC, let's examine the radio buttons. As you can see, when one is pressed, we can increment and decrement by a factor of one. The same is true for five and ten. Now let's look at the timer register. So let's change the value from zero milliseconds to fifty milliseconds. As you can see, the register table is updating very slowly because now the moving average ladder instruction is executed every 50 milliseconds. Now let's examine the average value. Let's enter a 10 for the moving value and see what happens when all the registers in the register table gets filled up with the number 10. The average value should be 10. And it is. And that concludes our video tutorial. For additional information, please contact Maple Systems or visit us online at maplesystems.com.